I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. And here we go, the battle between conferences. It's East versus West where the Miami Heat will be looking to make a statement. Oh, right here. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. Murray and Harris in the backcourt. Down low, it's Millsap and Jokic. And it's Chandler in at the three slot. It's good. Opening day upon us, Brent. Some teams already looked as if they are championship contenders already. Others clearly in a rebuild mode. What's the mindset of players entering the season on a rebuilding team? Well, if you're a veteran guy, you're asking your agent, can I get a trade? <laughs> they, they, they would love to get on one of those contending teams. But a, a rebuilding team is about making progress each month, really, quite honestly. Uh, that's what you want to see, Kevin, is progression month to month each of the games maybe chunk out a block 20 games here 20 games there and you want to see just improvement overall on what your squad is doing Miami on defense Harris outside back to Chandler Harris is green on Winslow Chandler kicks to Jokic it's hauled in by the Heat. And both of these sides were fighting tooth and nail for a playoff spot and split their season series at one apiece. So it's Denver now. Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Dragic. Murray kicks to Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Murray. Millsap passes to Murray. Just five to shoot. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assists. Murray's got himself on the board with three there. And that's good stuff from him. Nice touch. Here's Krugic. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. And the lid's off. Uh, they're one for four to begin this one, but that shot might just get them going. Millsap dishes to Chandler. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And Mike Malone, who is known for his defense, dealing with a team, Brent, that really lacks a defensive bite at times. It's something that he's trying to change in terms of culture. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. It's a bit of a nibble right now in Denver. But you look at Mike Malone's past and all the other stops where his defensive for chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points with the beat just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And this Nuggets team clearly sees that their future is going to be built around Jokic. What an incredible season last year. I don't think people realize just how special the offensive season that Jokic had for Denver was last year. He's right up there in the top five in terms of his offensive production. They'll need to add some defenders around them, but they have certainly shifted the offense around the incredibly talented passing big man in Jokic. Here's Murray. Dion Waiters making his last shot. Here's Harris. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Harris has got his first two points of the night. One oh two left to play in the first quarter. That gives them the lead. You've got just enough separation to let that one fly. So comfortable from long range. Murray kicks to Millsap. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Waiters into the lane. Another shot. And he banks in the lane. Whiteside's got his second bucket of the night. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. Well, that's the second part of the equation there. Block out, be aggressive, and control the glass. Waiters no luck. 
No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Well, he leading by three. Rock gets the pass to Whiteside. Waiters outside. Back to Whiteside. The shot misses. Good if it goes. That shot off the mark. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. For you to say, Kevin, I'd like to think that I was a bit of a, a switchblade player, especially the way the offenses now are expanding to the three-point line and giving guys with creativity a lot of room to operate. And if the first available shot's an open three for a guy on your team, uh, I, I could I could probably sink my teeth into something like that. You like positionless basketball? Do you like watching it now? Well, that's the way I play defense, Kevin. Positionless. <laughs> <laughs> so the wing on the left. Hernan Gomez with the ball. White's there. So the whistle blows on the shot. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Olenek. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Oh, Linux got his first bucket in this one. And at full speed, he still has the wherewithal to get himself in good position. Yeah, the snap decisions right there. Reading the situation on the move and then making the right choice. Long way with us. Renan Johnson. Just five to shoot. Here's Barton. They get it back. Back to Nelson. The three. Denver the rebound. And Plumlee kicks to Hernan Gomez. Plumlee with a screen on Johnson. Here's Hernan Gomez. That's tipped. He's hit again. And there's the nice layup by Plumlee. Plumlee's got it all tied up now for the Nuggets. And Miami calls their first time out of the that's gone by. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Emmanuel Moutier spent a year in China prior to the NBA rather than playing in college. A lot of people respect what he did while he was over there. He said, being in a foreign country, everything is different. It made me mentally strong. Now in the NBA, he said, you've got to have confidence because every point guard in this league can play. You've got to keep that edge and be prepared at all times. Kevin? Thanks, David. Mental fortitude is critical, especially when you're a young player in this league. Here's Krugic. Foul. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Takes a shot at the elbow. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Krugic has got the lead up to three now for the Heat. Jokic a screen. Feeds to Chandler. Millsap sets the pick for Chandler. To the middle. Millsap misses. It's just been an off night for him. That doesn't happen all that often, but the thing that you do at this point is not to push it, not to rush it. Let it come back to you. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Yeah, it's a good time to talk things. Rudy Gobert. I mean, has this guy in Utah not done a great job, Kevin, of manning up the middle in, in ways that we haven't seen for quite some time? And they've only connected on one of four to start the half. Their offense is sputtering just a little bit here. Kept alive. The kick out to Barton. Buries the long-range jumper. And when the D is this non-existent, it's pretty easy for shooters. Fishing with dynamite. And the Miami defense is more than just white side blocking shots, as you might say. Greg, they do a great job of limiting opponents' three. Yeah, they challenge the three ball as well as anybody. Both contest the shot and close out to deny the attempt from even being taken. And this roster does a great job of taking away space from shooters. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Defense right on him. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 
He's just so aggressive on that move. You have to come over fast and hard to stop him. Dishes it to White. Trying his luck deep. The Nuggets have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Chandler attacking. And it's all evened up. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Olenek, a screen on Nelson. Johnson kicks to Olenek. And it's in there. And, and you got to love the thing started here in the second half. Johnson against Nelson. Offside Chandler. Three-pointer, Barton. Sinks the three-pointer. Barton's got six points. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would come down to the end. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, Miami's Eric Spolster is known for his focus and his devotion to work. How does he stay centered? Yoga. He said, I like it because you have to keep your eyes on your own mat. If you're not focused on the spot in front of you, you'll fall over. And Kevin, that mindfulness translates across the board. Mindfulness, that's an interesting way to look at things, D.A. Spo is a great, great communicator. Knows how to certainly get through to his team. That doesn't go either for Chandler. Olenek the best to Autobio. That shot off. Some solid defense from Fareed. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Count it. And it's seven points for Wilson Chandler. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Olenek. No good, unable to end this run. Nelson kicks to Fareed. Got a piece of it. Olenek. He can't hit that top. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Nuggets lead by. There's the pick. Here's Waiters. And then Waiters with the jam. And that's such solid fundamental basketball on display right there. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up a dunk. Well, that's a play that only works by practicing over and over. And Miami the other way now. And Waiters, here we go. And they get it back. From downtown. And Dragic gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. And that's 11 points for Gordon Dragic. Murray with it. Now guarded by Dragic. It's tipped. And taken away by Johnson. Here's Waiters. They get it again. There's Winslow. And the shot goes in. Now it's a five-point heat lead. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Oh, and he... he... Murray for three. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Nuggets leap by one. Guys, what a game. Eight lead changes here. And don't be surprised if it comes down to the last possession. Vernon Gomez in the corner. Pocket six. Back to Murray. Overweight. Murray, good. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10 on difficulty, that's an 11. They double him with Jokic. Right side sets the pick for Waiters. And he comes off the screen to hit with a jump shot. Waiters got 19 points. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. Back to Jokic. Millsaps against Johnson. Basket counts. And it's eight points for Millsap. That was a big one. You could hear it. And sometimes the silence of a crowd can speak volumes. 
Peters for three. And it's Denver with the rebound. Here's Denver now. They're on a 10-2 run here. Murray kicks to Jokic. Eight feet away. The rebound by Johnson. And the effort and anticipation on defense won't show up in the individual stat sheet, but effective. Yeah, he takes a nice angle on it. He doesn't get the block, but he does get the alter. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. For three, Harris. And again, Denver with the triple. And with time becoming a factor, that may do it, guys. Well, leads are not given. They are earned. Playing with desire and attention to detail all night. On the wing, Winslow. Millsap down low. So the Nuggets win it. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. It